Are there other projects that pop to mind from the space exploration initiative or maybe stuff from the book that you, that you can mention? Yeah. Something super cool. <laughs> I mean, everything we've been talking about is, is cool, but just something that pops to mind again. Yeah. Um, so we talked about life in space and you might need more arms than legs. Uh, one of the projects by Valentina Sumini was a air-powered robotics tail. So it's a soft robotics tail that essentially has a little camera on the back end of it, can do computer vision and knows where to grapple. So it's behind you. Mm -hmm. It grapples onto something and holds you in space. And then you can actually free up both of your hands to work. So we're already starting to think about the design of bionic humans or prosthetics or things that would make you kind of like a cyborg to augment your capabilities when you're in a space environment. How would you control something like that? So it's kind of like a, I mean, you can't call it a leg, but whatever. It's an a additional appendage. Appendage. So how would you, what, what are ideas for controlling something like that? Yeah. So right now it's super, <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's cool. Right now it's super manual. Um, it's uh, basically just like a kind of a set pattern of inflating as we're testing it. But in the future, if we had a Neuralink, I mean, this is something that yes. you could imagine directly controlling, just thinking thoughts and controlling it. That's a ways away. Yeah. So we talked about on the biology side, astrobiology, there's probably agriculture stuff. Um, is there other things that kind of feed the ecosystem of out in space for survival or or the robotics architectures, the self-assembly stuff? So kind of combining something we were talking about, uh, you can form these relationships with objects and anthropomorphize. <laughs> yes. One of the things that we're thinking about for agriculture created by um, Manwe and Somu, so two students at MIT, was this little, it looks like a planet, uh, but it's inspired by, I think, a mandala or Nepalese spinning wheel. And you plant plants on the inside, and the astronaut has to spin it every day to help the plants survive. So it's a way to give the astronaut something to care about, something that they are responsible for keeping alive and can really um, invest themselves in. And it's not necessary, right? We have other ways to grow in orbit. Um, hydroponics, liquid medium, trying to keep the liquid around the plant roots is hard because there's no gravity to pull it down in a particular direction. But what I loved about this project was they said, Sure, we have ways that the plants could grow on their own, but the astronauts might want to care for it in the same way that we have little plants that come to be important to us, little plant friends. So yeah, so there's Agrifuge. That's an early model of this spinning, manually spinning plant habitat. 